How's it going, my people? I hope you're having a great day because this is a phenomenal day for AB. I know everybody thinks that it should be, it should be the opposite, but this is amazing. Um, I told you guys many times and told everyone that you make money on the in the markets on the way up and on the way down, and that doesn't necessarily mean you're shorting. No, just the same way that you buy stock, or in other words, even options, the same way you buy calls, you buy puts. And the same exact thing why all this printing has been happening today. Today is one of my happiest days so far of this year. Even though there's been some, uh, you know, great days this year so far in this first three months. But today's been by, by far the best. And I'm not boasting about the profits or any of that stuff in it. But here's what I'm boasting about. You guys remember... I hate to be this guy. I swear I hate to be this guy because I'm not that guy if it's about something personal for me. But since it's the best interest of the family and the community overall, so I have to be someone momentarily that I'm really not family. So here's the thing. You remember how many times, how many times, just about exactly a month and a half to two months ago, not too long ago, since the beginning of the year, how many times did I come out and tell everyone and I was literally one of the only ones that's how rare it was because every other channel every boom boom candles channel and all that stuff we're saying we're in a bulls market that the bear market was 2022 again what did I say fact check me on this statement what did I say back then when I make when I made that video and, and, and there was some people that came out and said, okay, you got to try, don't, and some of them were content creators and obviously some others were shills, but the shills have had their uh, fill with AB because one, I don't give them a platform, two, you got to have to know your shit to come at me, especially trading. Don't just go read a book or read something and then come and, and you go to uh, go to people and, you know, pretend to be the guru or whatever, uh, you know, to each their own. But when it's about trading, you got to know your shit before you come to me because I'm not going to, I, I will never ever try to put belittle someone, no matter who it is, even if it's my enemy, because I already know that this life is like a scale. One day you're up, one day you're down. Remember that. But more importantly, this is about the family. Back then, there were some content creators that told me, indirectly told me, we're talking about me or looping me in the same um uh, looping me in the same circle with other you know people that they were trying to target and they just looped me into it or whatever i don't know what was going on in their mind but again you this youtube <laughs> amc content creator stuff is like the days of our lives it's some shit that will never end i swear i've been watching it since i was a kid and it's like what season like our episode 500 like what freaking 500,000 uh, and it will still keep going on. <laughs> Some actors even passed away and they still got days of our lives. Anywho, um, some of these content creators and some YouTuber, uh, even some like, you know, some of these shills came out and said, hey, hey, like, you know, the shills came directly for these YouTubers and said, man, you don't really know the market. Like blah 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 about about the uh, what specifically the statement where I said that we're not done we're not out of the bear market we're not even we're not even at the bottom. You guys fact check go back January of this year look what I was saying when the markets were pumping oh crazy and all this shit go back and look at it. Um, and obviously since then. Somehow now everybody's straying away. Most of these content creators are straying away, either straying away from the idea that we are, you know, we're, they're no longer talking about the bull market that they were saying, that's it. But in the same time, they're no longer also, uh, uh, it's either that they're doing that, they're no longer talking about the bull market, or besides the hush hush, they're actually saying, yes, we are still in the bear market. We told you so. Now they're jumping ship. The reason why this is so important to me personally is because once people, you, you don't know the power of influence. And again, none of us do this. I guess I'll speak for myself. No financial advice here. But still, there is an, a, a, a certain level, like a, a level of influence 
that comes with this. Obviously, no one is going to, I don't expect anyone to come and take from me something and go make an, like a decision financially with it and move their money and buy or sell or hold or whatever something because of what I said. I expect people to listen to what I say, take it with a <laughs> double grain of salt and then let it play out, ping pong it back and forth in the back of their head. See if it makes some sense. It could connect some dots that you have already have gotten to. If it does, great. If it doesn't, again, you never know what you can learn and who you learn it from. Whether whether it's an older person, a younger person, an animal, anyway, you never know how knowledge could come and approach you. You just got to be open and ready to always accept it and take it and have an open mind to all of it. Moving on from that, remember, today what you've seen, now they're talking about that it's all about the jobs decision, the jobs report on Friday, and that would give the feds the the final indication that they need to see how they should go, whether the pivoting or obviously hike the rates some more, because inevitably, look at it, inflation ain't gone nowhere still sizzling hot, it's still up. And even then, they're not measuring it correctly. Like, it's not, whatever you see, 6.8, 6, you kiss my ass with that. I'm sorry for the Virgil language, guys. But I've been dirty lately. Have you noticed that? Yeah, I've been dirty lately. I need to, I need to get back. Well, Ramadan is around the corner, so it's about a week away from now. So that will <laughs> exterminate all the dirtiness. Um, uh, I'm ready. To start the fasting, but then the holy month. Um, anywho, guys, whenever you see red like this, the reason besides me, like I said, I'm not boasting about the profits of the puts that I had and the, the in the plays that I had in, specifically the spy. The spy is my baby. Uh, that's my, it's my daily baby. Besides what I'm long on, which is, as I said and explained so many times before, what has been my plan all along to continue to be an AMC and over not not get myself over leveraged and constantly be at ease with my position and even so add more to it through the way that I do day trading and that gives me the ability to hold my position longer and then on top of that that gives me the ability to not get into a position where oh, I need this so let me sell some of that you see what I'm saying so there's many, 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 many ways that anybody, everybody to each their own again. But it's important. It's important that when you see red like this, besides this, for me, why I'm so excited about it and happy about it, because when it goes red like this, guess who else is in the market? See, we're trapped in AMC. You know what they're trapped in? They're trapped in AMC for shorts. They think they got us trapped. Let me correct my words. They think they got us trapped. We're just here until things get better. However, they're trapped because their shorts are not covered until we give in. And then we'll talk more about it. As I said, day by day, I'll keep talking more about the, <coughs> the split and all that kind of stuff. And the no and the yes and how it progresses. We'll keep, we still got some time. So... Um, There is, when when the other people that are in this play as well, which is the shorts, I just had a funny thought. That's why I was, pause for a second, I just had a really funny thought. Um, and it's not good to share it too. <laughs> it's a very bad thought. Um, these shorts, they're trapped, not only shorting AMC, they're shorting many other stocks in the market. But on top of that, Look at the rest of the, like, they're also invested in some blue chip stocks, other stocks. So when those go down in value, guess whose margin gets closer and closer? Their margin. Because to be short, you have a margin. And the, whatever that margin amount is, there's also obviously a formula for it. But who, them and whoever they borrowed from to, or initiated the short position uh, with, they have a margin. And when they reach those certain levels financially, they could get margin called. So whenever it gets read throughout the market, I'm in love. I love it. I, I, I so freaking love it because that means somebody else out there on the other side, indirectly, I don't even need to know 
who they are, they're hurting. Now, speaking, I don't know who they are. In this morning, before the market opened, in the pre-market, it was like uh, around five in the morning, four, four thirty, five in the morning. I went ahead and commented on the community tab on the YouTube channel. Go check it out. And if you saw that comment and that post that I posted, you would have probably been able to predict what would have happened today throughout the markets and you would have probably been uh, taking advantage of it and reaping the, the profits or the benefits from it. So what did I say? Go see it on the community tab. I can brief it out for you. I was saying that uh, Silvergate, SI is 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 basically got, finally going ahead, and I report the news when it came out. Like as far as even earlier, when that they 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 had finally agreed to go ahead and just end their business, return all the money to their uh, rightful place, which is huge because that's a crypto bank, crypto bank, and this is one alley that they, in my humble opinion, I think that they used to utilize to transfer back and forth money that they were able to get from God knows whatever source. They could transfer money from here to Europe. A mafia in Europe can send King Griffin some money. Who knows? It could be. Nobody could see that on the blockchain. Uh, a, a, a cartel in Mexico or somewhere down in Latin America could could have sent up uh, money and, and to launder it through this. Who needs the capital? Market makers. Where can they get money when money is tight? Crypto banks, because you ain't got no trail behind that. Now, here's the thing. With, with that, as very good news in closing. The second uh, other thing is, uh, it was uh, SBNY was getting hammered. It reached a new 52-week low. Um, and that's very, very, very hard. Like So financial, the financial industry is getting wrecked, people. It's getting wrecked. And, and there's more. So go back, go over there and read the post. Let it, let it, let it shine. Like, you know, uh, lament your eye, uh, uh, your eyes with the post and please consider hitting that like button on this video or whatever you want or whatever and share it. Let more and more people see it. Again, the model of this whole video was to one, to remind you that when there is so much certainty, everybody, literally like 90%. Of communities and content creators or whatever, they were out there pumping that it's a bull's market. Look where they at now. No one is saying it's a bull market, right? So where who was pumping that narrative back then? Then it's easy. It's easy to go ahead and backtrack, right? It's easy to jump ship, but who's going to hold you accountable? It takes time. You have to be in the market. It's diff It's a completely different. Uh, experience when you deal with someone who's been in the market rather than someone who read about it so like uh that's that's a complete different scenario and that's that also feeds that same way of thinking dumps into the same water well of the whole short theses and this is why i made that specific video if you haven't watched it please go watch it about the short theses is a myth that's the title of that video um the people that th thought that the market was in a bull market, all of them and all the stuff, they're the very same people who think that the short theses, oh, by pay off some debt or pay off the debt, shorts will no longer, they're screwed, they'll no longer screw us and short us. That's elementary talk. That's for people, as I said before, who's either been in the market since the COVID shut down for two, three years, or they just don't know and they just write about something, so they expect. You know how you go get a desk, buy a desk or a table, a chair or whatever from uh, Ikea or whatever, any furniture place. And you get a manual that you have to set it up to get together. So people who approach this whole short thesis narrative or mindset, they're approaching it like that. Like, OK, screw A goes in. Screw B. <laughs> I had to think of twice before saying what I was going to say. <laughs> I didn't want to say a whole B and then that be an AB. <laughs> right? I know you people out there. So, screw A goes with where it's supposed to be. It's supposed to go to where B is. And technically, it should. Yes, it should be how you read it in the books. But shit, don't roll like it's supposed to be written in the freaking books. 
It's completely different out here. How many jobs you personally, I'll, clo I'll, I'll close it with this. How many positions have you as an individual worked? Forget the market, look elsewhere. Have you went to work anywhere else ever and you got trained and trained and trained and next thing you know, when you started the job, like literally 25% of what you got trained on was the job and the other 75%, you just you just got adjusted to it when as as you went on, as you as you went and uh, as you completely obviously <laughs> on the on on the job on day one or day two and day three as you go through the job. So, again, my family, great things are coming ahead, big 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 things. Uh, much love to Algany for for that postponement till April twenty seventh because uh, that's gonna get a lot of people to. I hope so. So much love. I'll catch you guys later, maybe on a live or tomorrow, either with a live or another video. If you have any qu particular questions, ask me. I'll put them on the next video or the next live. Okay. Much love. AB Investments.